You're watching Amador County's local television network, TSPN, and now back to Amador This Week. It's a magnificent spring day in Amador County, and we're here at the Amador County Museum, and with me is Leslie Kelly, photographer, author. Good to see you again. Good to see you again, Susie. Thank you. The last time we saw you, you were at the barrel tasting, book signing. A lot of books were being sold that day. People were sharing the wealth of this beautiful book, which is about the Gold Rush area. Right. Photos. Let's tell the viewers what they're going to see when they see this book. And we'll, at the end, we'll tell you about the next book signing that will take place at Lizzie Ann's in Sutter Creek. So tell us about this book. Okay. Well, the book is 240 pages, 494 color pictures, and about 25 black and white historic pictures. That's the technical side of it. It's an oversized book full of color. It covers the entire California Gold Rush country, which goes beyond Highway 49. Of course, Highway 49 is part of it, but uh, it also covers Marysville, Oroville, even Trinity County, Weaverville, which had very important uh, gold mining activity. Okay, as we talk about the book, let's sure. just thumb through it. Sure. Um, basically, these are pictures, and you have a little bit of history under e underneath right. each of the pictures. The book, the book is a pictorial, and we open at the all-important Coloma Sutter Mill site. Uh, unfortunately, or fortunately for the, those who buy the book, see the book, this is going to become a historic picture because the January 1st flood completely rearranged this picture. Uh, the mill site wound up with about 15 feet of water. And the foreground of the picture, if I may just hear, uh, has all been washed away, all the way down. And the former um, uh, the monument that marks the uh, site of the uh, discovery of gold uh, was washed away, uh, or rather the dirt around it was washed away, and now that monument is in the middle of the river. Wow. So quite a bit of change for that picture, and of course that's what uh, Gold Rush Country is about, is change. Uh, I have some opening pictures, of course Coloma, then Malakoff Diggins, uh, and then Mariposa Courthouse, and again this book is about the entire area. And then, of course, the obligatory information about the book that the government wants and all the things necessary to sell it. This is up uh, Highway 88, uh, Carson River, the Carson River, uh, Hope Valley. Uh, Magnificent book. You asked me a little bit about how did it take to get this book. Uh, yeah, it took, share that uh, with us. took uh, about 46 trips. I live in Huntington Beach in Orange County. And uh, the... 46 trips, I, I decided when I decided to do the book, and I began four years ago with a trip to the local library to come up with another book idea after a, f a book about the Amish. And there's a 150th anniversary, and the 150th anniversary of the gold discovery of gold is in 1998. The gold is, was discovered January the 24th, 1848. Uh, Marshall's discovery was not the first discovery of gold. Gold had been found before, but never received a lot of attention until uh, Marshall found the gold, and an entrepreneur by the name of Sam Brennan, Brennan rather, uh, from San Francisco, saw a gold mine in business to the miners who came. He was Mormon, and so he would not mine the gold, but certainly he could take advantage entrepreneurially. And so in May of 1848, he walked the streets of San Francisco holding up some of the gold that was found. Wow. And uh, thus began the rush. Oh, okay. And the 49ers came in because gold, uh, the gold miners didn't get to California until 1849 because even though the goal in California was found in 1848, it, at that time you couldn't just jump in your car, jump on a plane and fly. They had to wait until the winter was over, until the grass was green and the wagons and horses could uh, make the trip. Okay, and this is the uh, Fireman's Muster, which takes place the first weekend of May at Columbia. And of course, uh, California is beginning the uh, uh, sesquicentennial commemoration of the gold discovery, the 49ers, and statehood through the year 2000. Statehood was achieved 18, uh, in 1850 and uh, September the uh, 9th. So, but the book uh, was put together with the thought in mind that it would cover the gold rush country from top to bottom as well as within the keeping of the theme of the sesquicentennial uh, commemorations that are coming up. 
So as you can see, I went through uh, 46 trips. I went through all seasons. I spent a lot of time uh, sitting around waiting for pictures. For instance, the one back in uh, uh, Carson, uh, just below Carson Pass on the Carson River. I got up at 3 o'clock in the morning. I stayed in Tahoe, went down. I had, I had noticed the spot earlier uh, the day before. Went down, stood there and for about four hours until the fog lifted, the sky's uh, sun Open came out, out and uh, I was hoping for a rainbow. It never happened, but I got an incredibly nice shot, one of my favorite. This picture, I spent about uh, two trips waiting for the poppies to come out. It went up, sat there for most of the day. Uh, wound up with two good uh, images. Driving along and just stopped at, uh, let's see, that's in uh, Dry Town, I believe. Uh, two seconds in and out of the car and some, some went very quickly. Uh, total luck that the hot air balloon was there. And uh, earlier you had asked me to uh, talk about how did I get into photography. Uh, I fondly talk about I'm a graduate of the Institute of uh, MROF. And MROF is many roles of film. I have uh, done a few courses uh, on the basics of photography, but uh, mostly go out and experiment. And I've been doing this for about 20 years. What sort of and, camera do you use, can I ask? I, I, of course. Uh, I, for a 35 millimeter, I've gone through a number, but my current camera is a Canon EOS one. It's a concession to my eyesight. Uh, it's an autofocus, and basically it's point and shoot, but it's, uh, it's a good one. Use it with a tripod. I always shoot everything with tripod. Special lenses attached? Uh, no. I mean, uh, the, the EOS one is a professional model, but uh, nothing more than the average person couldn't buy in terms of lenses. I do have a medium format, which is about an eight or nine pound camera that shoots two and a quarter by two and three quarter film and gives excellent images. And most of the pictures in this book are shot with that camera. Better quality, it makes it uh, better reproduction. In the segment on the way west, for instance, I spent uh, two days in the Platte River trying to get that sunset shot out in Nebraska. I uh, made uh, trips to uh, Wyoming uh, along the Oregon-California Trail. Took some time to get that. And one of my favorite shots is the sunset shot down below with Chimney Rock, which is a famous feature along the trail. Uh, in California, I wanted to show the passes. Uh, the Donner Party uh, was not part of the, um, uh, of the gold rush itself, but those who followed after the Donner Party tragedy kept in mind that they had to get across the mountains uh, before the snows came. And um, I, <clears throat> excuse me, I went to Panama. A lot of the uh, 49ers who didn't come by land, of course, would come by water, or all of them who didn't, had two choices then, by land or by water. And this is where they landed, uh, on this shore right here, there was a town, town of Chagres, and the river Chagres. And this is an old uh, fort built by the Spanish in the 1500s. Uh, it's cannons <clears throat> date to that time. So, Moving on over to have a segment on uh, San Francisco because of its importance, <clears throat> then Sacramento. And then I began with uh, Auburn and uh, move north through the northern mines, just uh, some selected shots. Uh, Forest Hill, you don't have to go to New England to see some absolutely incredibly beautiful foliage. All of these pictures were shot within about 15 minutes, uh, about 100 feet apart. Forest Hills, lovely. Uh, Nevada County, of course, is known for the um, for its uh, uh, foliage in the winter. I mean, how, in the fall. Excuse me. How did you research for history? Did you meet you eat, meet each of the archivists? Did you uh, nose around did, town? What did you do? Well, what I did is I read a number of books, and uh, I checked out a couple of books that were done by Rinch and Good back in the 30s. Excellent books. Uh, they're available typically only in, uh, you may find them in a used bookstore every now and then, but typically in the library. And Huntington Beach is blessed with some very good uh, books. I spent some time doing that. Then I started making phone calls to the counties and finding people to talk to. Then I made a couple of trips uh, and just went along and would go to a museum and say, hey, who can I talk to? And during the way, I met an awfully a lot of nice people. And during that time period, uh, I would um, 
talk to tourists if if you were looking for a book because you know you got to sell the book so I talked to people who would be potential buyers I talked to locals if you were doing a book what would you want to see in the book and I got a lot of interesting input some of it I could use and of course uh, some of it I couldn't but um, oh, this is just beautiful. Right, there's some. So tell me more about um, the 150th. Okay. What are you going to be doing, and what do you see as as you've been traveling for the last few years? What do you see as the different counties, the, how they are going to handle this special occasion? Okay, well, I'm very pleased to say that Amador County is <clears throat> one of the counties in the lead, uh, very active in setting up for the sesquicentennial planning celebrations. All the other counties are busy too. Uh, Tuolumne is very busy, El Dorado is uh, very active, uh, Placer County and so forth, uh, Nevada County. They're planning various activities, uh, a lot of them uh, take offs from the existing activities that take place. Uh, Coloma of course is going to have a big, very big event on January the 24th, 1998. I plan to be there. I uh, plan to participate in that event, I've been invited to do so. I plan to uh, do a lot of signings just as I'm doing here today at the museum. And my focus, I have another book coming out about traveling California's Gold Rush Country which will afford those who read it uh, a better understanding of the history as well as some of the historic places they can visit and stay at and give a perspective uh, about that. Uh, why don't we just move over real quick and I'll show uh, Amador County. Amador County is a part of the Southern Mines, of course. And uh, we'll just start with uh, Jackson while we're right here. We're right here at the uh, Amador County Museum. And of course, right behind us is the uh, St. Patrick's uh, Catholic Church, which I find uh, very, very scenic, very photographic. Um, this is uh, the Cafe uh, Max, right Cafe Max Swiss Model right, Bakery. Right, I was down talking to Lyndon Max this morning, and uh, the National uh, Hotel. It's kind of hard to see upside down here, so sorry. And of course, the I O O F building had a lot of fun with that. I'm sure you guys know the old joke about why are all the buildings uh, have one one hundred F on them, but uh, with a funny street address. And of course, Sutter Creek. And that's the Odd Fellows, if you're wondering. Odd Fellows, right? International Order Is of Odd Fellows. Okay, for, can you see that? Okay. Okay. Of course, uh, you asked me to tell you about some of my favorite places. Amador County is very high. Jackson's very nice. I love Sutter Creek, and uh, spent a lot of time at uh, the Sutter Creek Inn with uh, Jane Way. She was incredibly helpful, and um, uh, the uh, Bellotti's uh, uh, Inn turned out very nice. Uh, this picture it took me a while because I could never come up with the right uh, sky, right setting. And of course I've had a lot of compliments about this picture at uh, Sutter Creek. Um, I'd hoped the tree would just be a little more colorful, but uh, with a tad bit of enhancement we got it uh, a little, little colored. Of course Daffodil Hill and today of course with all the flowers uh, Mariposa, Tuolumne, uh, Calavera, Salvador counties are all blessed with just incredible wildflowers. I've been up and down this area the last few days and just exceptionally beautiful. And um, Fiddletown, a uh, great uh, general store there in Volcano, the uh, St. George Hotel, uh, okay. great place to visit. Well, and of course, the wine the country. Wine country yes, the wine country. This is just right. beautiful. And again, Amador County is featured in this book, the California Gold Rush Country. It's by Leslie Kelly. Um, you are quite a photographer, quite a historian too, because this is. You said this was the first coffee table book ever made of this area. Uh, it's the first coffee table book ever made about California's Gold Rush Country, okay. that features the Gold Rush area. There've been a number of books about California. But I do have a book for you, oh, well, and thank if you. I can take time, I'll just uh, sign it All for right. you, uh, for Susie. Yes, that would be great. Good, and uh, make sure it works here. We'll sign it in gold for you, for the gold country. 
Perfect. I will treasure that. Okay. Thank you very much. Before right. we go, let's tell the viewers because he will be uh, appearing at Lizzie Ann's. Let's give that right. date because you can come down and pick up the book. And one thing I like about the book, the price. Let's give the price. Okay, the price is twenty nine ninety five. I've been asked why twenty nine ninety five. I got an exceptionally good price uh, from the printer and I pass it along and uh, I think people will find it an incredibly good value for all the pictures and it is a complete view of the Gold Rush country. Well, and I'll be at Lizzie Ann's at 9 a.m. They normally open up at uh, 10 a.m. but they're going to open up at 9 a.m. on Saturday, uh, April 19th and we'll be right out in front of the store uh, signing books from 9 o'clock to about 11:15, uh, 11:30. 11 11 then I have to go down to Sonora, so it's going to be a busy day that okay, day. Okay. Well, uh, I suggest that you bring your checkbook and buy several, if not uh, many, because they make great coffee table gifts for Christmas time as well as birthdays, anniversaries, you name it. And it's uh, easy shopping all in one place. I like that. All right. Thank you. And okay. also uh, keep in mind the friends back east, the people who aren't fortunate That's enough to right. live here, because you can show them. Uh, what a beauty there is here, and it's absolutely, the Gold Rush country is one of the prettiest places I've ever had the opportunity to visit. Okay, and you can tab that area that's Amador County and put your little note in there to your friends and family. Again, this is um, Leslie Kelly, and he is proud to present the California Gold Rush Country Coffee Table book. It's beautiful. He is the author and photographer. Thank you very much again, uh, and thanks for coming back to Amador County okay. and sharing with our community um, what you're doing. This is quite an accomplishment. Good.